Hey guys, welcome to Talks with Etta Rosa. I am Etta Rosa. Today we're going to be giving you three tips on managing your freelance business as a legal professional. Um, it has become very popular and a lot of people have either gotten used to working from home, working on their own terms, whatever your concept is, virtual freelance, um, it definitely has become the new normal. Uh, the pandemic has heightened um, the business of working on your own and doing your own thing, which is great. And I'm getting a lot of inquiries about this. So I decided to do this video for you guys. The first one is just realize that you're going to be a chief everything officer, which if you listen to my podcast, I say this all the time. You're going to be your marketing strategist, your production um, team, you're going to be your IT, you're going to be your um, accounting, um, you name it, you're going to be it. For a little bit until you can actually uh, afford to either outsource those services or hire on um, board somebody. Um, so definitely understand that that's just going to be a reality, whether it's temporary or long term, that's up to you, that's up to your business and how you're going to run it. And the second tip I'm going to give you is learn a little bit of everything. Um, I didn't know anything about social media marketing. I didn't know anything about accounting as far as business-wise, right? I knew about personal accounting because I handled that in the household before, but business accounting is completely different, whether it's going to be an LLC or you're going to do as a sole proprietorship or you're going to have a partnership. All that takes into consideration when it comes to tax season. So you definitely want to learn a little bit so you don't get tricked um, and you don't get lost in the chaos. So definitely um, learn a little bit about everything. That I attended a lot, of, like countless webinars. I still do. Um, I attend webinars and workshops and hands-on um, courses and things like that. Uh, there's a lot of community colleges that offer non-credited um, degrees where you can just pay for the class and take it. So that's I definitely did that for my business as well. Um, so those are just little tidbits on how to learn a little bit about everything. And the third one is outsource when possible. Listen, true story. I'm going to tell you this and this is going to be the end of it. My husband caught me one day learning how to code one, two, you know, like actually coding so that I can establish my online shop. And this was probably over a year now because our online shop has been live for a little bit. But he's like, what are you doing? And I was like, I'm learning how to code. And he's like, really? I mean, how much time have you spent on learning how to do this and versus how much can you spend to pay somebody else that already knows how to do this? Um, and I said, you know what? That's something I never thought about. So my husband taught me something. Uh, so I definitely started outsourcing and had somebody create my online shop and upgraded my website and all that good stuff. So definitely know your... Um, I guess your strengths and return on investment, right? So return on investment is a big thing in business. Um, how long is it actually going to take you versus how long or how much you can pay somebody else to do it? Between the time that they that that you pay them, can you make that amount of money within an hour or two of working while they're doing that? So things like that um, definitely take into consideration. So you're going to be the chief everything officer. Learn a little bit about everything, outsource when possible. Hopefully that helps. Let me know if you have any other questions, guys. I'm loving these questions, so keep them coming. And until justice is served, I will be here.